Homeowners know taxes are skyrocketing across the state. And now there's a new push to get some relief. Jody Goldberg takes a look at a move to lift the cap on SALT deductions. Ellen Andrusick first moved to Franklin Square back in 1968. The taxes were only $600. And since then, property taxes have only gone up. Now they're up over $13,000. To the point where Andrusick and other Long Islanders are stuck having to pay more than they can afford. It affects everything. But relief may be on the way with legislation filed in Congress to lift the cap placed on the state and local tax deductions known as SALT, first implemented under the Trump administration back in 2017. Now, if passed, the Salt Deductibility Act would repeal the $10,000 limit that has cost homeowners and state taxpayers an enormous amount in extra taxes. It allows homeowners here on Long Island to fully deduct not just their property taxes, but the uh, New York state income tax. I think that this legislation is something that is common sense for a, a lot of individuals. Prior attempts to lift the cap haven't been successful, but now with more Republicans in Congress from high-tax states, Local leaders believe it's more realistic. We intend to be a driving force in the Congress to ensure that federal legislation benefits our constituents. Some experts are skeptical. I think it's it's well south of 50% chance that we see some sort of change between now and 2025. While others say it comes down to whether House Speaker Kevin McCarthy can be persuaded. Republicans created this problem for taxpayers during the Trump administration. And uh, it's ironic that Republicans are now going to try to fix it. The act still has to be brought to committee and then the floor. And while it clearly won't be passed for this year's tax deadline, the goal is for next. They're going to have to deal with us sooner rather than later. Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.